Welcome to the first edition of Inside Super GP. We take you behind the scenes to show you the ins and outs of what happens with all our riders in the Monster Energy Super GP Champions Trophy. We caught up with Sir Lancelot, Lance Isaacs, to find out what he's been doing in between the two races and, of course, preparing for SWAT Corps and the Durban Street Race. Lance, a lot of people don't realize how much actually goes into the behind the scenes stuff and uh, what you've got to do to get these bikes up to speed. Yeah, it is a lot of, a lot of homework. Um, it's on days like these, you know, where, where all the real work is done. When we arrive at the track, we want to be, about, I would say, about 95% prepared. Um, we take conditions on the day as the 5% that, uh, that we've got to look at on the day. Um, you, you know, we can, uh, the bulk of the, of the real um, work is, gets done in the workshops with you when uh, Eddie takes the bike back to the shop, strips it down, checks every nut and bolt, every bearing, make sure that that things are running uh, ran smoothly after a race weekend um, we just make sure that all the all the components there isn't too much wear on it so that we don't have any failures going to the next round and when we go to, when we're doing test days like this you know we we get a chance to to try some variables that are completely outside of the window that you you know that we wouldn't necessarily try on a on a race weekend so for us um, these these are the these are the more important days because um, it just makes our work so much easier w once we do arrive at the at the racetrack. You know, everybody has their their own uh, ways of preparing for for the event. And um, as much fun as I have every single time I swing my leg over the bike, um, I'm having fun doing the test sessions. I'm having fun. Um, testing different parameters and it's, it's great it's great learning and you know in in my 20 odd years of, of riding bikes you know I see I see every session I go out as a learning opportunity and I and, and it's you, there's, there's so much to learn yeah it's uh, you're always pushing the pushing the envelope uh, searching for the thrill I guess thrill is certainly big when you get onto a bike like this and uh, I think another thing that you need to take into account and a lot of people don't realize is you know uh, you yourself have had 20 years of experience you've got Eddie in your team that's got oodles of experience when it comes to World Superbikes, MotoGP, Paddocks and, and teams he's worked with and of course you put those two together all of a sudden the bike becomes just part of that whole puzzle and if you can get it all to sort of plug into place it certainly uh, makes like we saw in East London. Oh absolutely you know um, the, the experience that Eddie's got um, especially with especially with this bike, um, Eddie's pretty much been uh, been involved with BMW internationally, pretty much from uh, the conception of the of the bike. Um, looking after the, the likes of uh, Troy Corsa, Ruben Schaus, um, Steve Martin, who was the development uh, uh, rider for for BMW, um, Leon Haslam. Um, and, and prior to that, you know, Eddie's, Eddie's got, a, got a wealth of knowledge coming from the Grand Prix circuits, um, uh, working with the, the Kawasaki Grand Prix team, with Harold Eckel when they first started out on the, on the, the MotoGP product for, uh, project for, for Kawasaki. Um, Eddie has definitely done his fair share of mileage around the world and, and working on, on bikes and also the different components of the, of the bikes. So it's great to have a guy like Eddie in my corner. Um, you know, I see it when we're doing test sessions or, or when, or even after practice session on the weekend of racing. Uh, we go back to the, the to the house or, the, or to the hotel. The two of us sit down. We have a beer. We we talk about the day's experience, the feelings I've had, the feelings he's had, what he's noticed, what he hasn't noticed. Um, and you know, it's uh, it's those relaxing moments when when the genius actually come. Uh, we come up with the genius ideas. I think it's I think it's more the lubrication of the beer, <laughs> stimulating the senses. No doubt. But uh, you know, it's it's great it's great to have a rapport with with a guy like Eddie. You know, he's a he's a great guy on and off the racetrack. Um, yeah, it's, you know, he picks my brain, I pick his brain, and uh, you know, we we work we work really well together. On Monster Super GP, of course, you've also got to take into account the amount of exposure that's being put out there, not only from the Super GP point of view, but also from your own side. And uh, the amount of work that goes into it, because not only are you doing testing here for, you know, the bike and the setup and everything like that, but you're also testing out the drifter cameras and what angles you're going to use to give that a little bit of an edge. So when we go on the social media and we start playing around on the likes of Facebook and YouTube, all of a sudden people get to see something completely different that no one else is trying. 
Oh, absolutely. You know, we are testing. We're testing the waters for for everything and everyone. Um, as you see, we've got got the drift cameras um, out here today. We're testing different angles so that we can we can give the we can give the viewers a very very different perspective from a rider's point of view. Um, we want to keep it interesting. We want to we want the we want to keep people coming back. We want to keep people um, in the loop as to exactly what it's like to be on the bike or at the circuit. I could be sitting in an office, <laughs> but I'd much rather be. I'd, I'd much rather be sitting um, in your office, in my office, behind the controls of my uh, BMW S1000 RR. Hi, I'm Lance Isaacs. You're watching Inside Super GP, and you can follow me on at Lancelot38 and as well as Lancelot38 on Instagram and my Lance Isaacs athlete page on Facebook.